What is going on guys and girls? My name is James Sothixie and welcome back today to Subnautica. How are we doing everyone? Welcome back, welcome back. Today, I'm in my submarine. I still don't have a submarine. It's so sad. Um, but yeah, so we are back everyone. How is everyone doing? I hope you are good. Last couple of episodes were madness. So hopefully you guys have seen them. We went on board the Aurora and uh, I think we did pretty much everything that we can do inside it. We managed to get loads of PDAs. We got the prawn suit thingamajig. So technically, I think we actually might be able to make a prawn suit, which is pretty cool. Uh, we got loads of items. So as you can see here, I did a little bit of decorating just to kind of make it look a little bit pretty. So I've got my miniature Aurora. I've got this thing. No idea what it is, but hey, uh, I put some pictures, keep calm, and Subnautica, yes. Uh, I put like a green background up, a couple of extra storage things, and over in this room, just because I wanted to try it, I uh, I put in the water filtration machine. Now, <laughs> I was kind of like, I was reading up ages ago about like little tips and tricks for Subnautica for getting started, and uh, people don't really recommend this thing, and to be honest with you, it's not very good. Uh, it takes up power and uh, it produces a water bottle, I think, every 15 minutes, which it's not that good, really. It's a little bit slow, but I wanted to give it a go. So today begs the question, what do we do? Um, I think I want to hit the radio. <laughs> every time we hit the radio, something crazy happens. So I'm kind of like, mm, I want to give it a go. At the same time, I do want to kind of see if we can actually make the prawn suit maybe sometime soon. But Ooh, OK, here we go. Okay. Ha! Huh. Okay, so uh, annoyingly though, I was trying to actually, this is a weird thing here, I was trying to fiddle around with the, the sound options because I wanted to try and make the voices louder. So like in the past, I actually have to like cut it out and put it on a different track and boost the volume for you guys to actually hear it. None of these sound options work. <laughs> it's really weird. I put down music to zero, ambient volume to zero, voice volume to 100, and I still hear everything exactly the same. So I don't know if that's a little bug or something, uh, but yeah, my sound volumes do not work. So apologies, but obviously you can read it as well at the same time. Okay. Um, so it's given us a PDA location of an area that is too deep to dive. No way. Uh, so where would it be? It would be... Oh, let me try and get rid of it. It would be... Uh, why is it not gone in my PDA? Would it be survivors? No, hang on. I'm still a little bit rubbish at negotiating this thing. Hang on, bear with. You see, this is what sometimes confuses me. It's just said that it's put it into our PDA, but it's not in the Aurora Survivors list, which is where usually some of the life pods are. Or if it doesn't give us the coordinates, it sometimes gives us like a clue and the life pod isn't there. So that's life pod 12, apparently. Now, the worrying thing is it says that it... Oh. Did I get my first... Yeah, a large filtered water. Oh, so it gives you large water, does it? interesting well i'm gonna i'm gonna just let that thing kind of do its do its thing really i'm slightly concerned about the energy usage that it's using but we'll keep an eye on it anyway so ah look oh it's only 250 meters deep oh let's go to that that's really easy <laughs> i thought it was going to be like over a thousand meters deep oh yeah so check this out i actually upgraded the seamoth with a couple of the things that we found inside the aurora so we've got a storage compartment here and now i think we can also go down to 300 meters without it like destroying so uh, yeah i did a few bits and pieces on this bad boy uh it's no quicker but you can go a little bit deeper so that's good news and also it's got that extra storage just in case we find some cool stuff um I also went and did a bit of foraging. I think I've got a few more items and I've got some like radioactive material. So I'm guessing that's part of a nuclear reactor or something. Um, but okay, it's going to take a little while for me to get to life pod 12, but I guess we can go and do it. We also do need to find part of that alien quest. I think there's some kind of secret underwater disease prevention base that we need to find. Uh, we've got a clue for it, but I have no idea where it is yet. So uh, we'll see. Anyway, onwards. Ooh, look at this place, man. I've never been here before. At least I don't think I have. So I think this is called... Is it called the Mushroom Forest? I feel like it might be. Uh, look at these things. Hey, 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 stop giving me sass. Oh, God. Look 
at them. Wow, they're so cool. See, I think this is called the Mushroom Forest. Um, and if I remember correctly, I think someone said that there was some pretty cool um, blueprints or stuff lying about here. So, depending on what the quest tells us, we might go and uh, have a little look around here. So, oh, actually, let's test this out. If I, ooh, what's that? It's on electric. What is that thing? I wish you could... Sc oh, God. We good? Yeah, we're good. <laughs> I wish you could scan things without getting out of your submarine. Like, if your, if your little Seamoth had, like, its own built-in scanner. So, I think we can go down to 300 meters now. Uh, which is good. But... Oh! Why do I keep crashing into things? Oh, I'm the worst pilot. Oh, my goodness. Okay, so, yeah. We can technically go all the way down to the bottom of here now. Be Ooh... Everything wants to eat me. Okay, we're going to have to be a little bit careful. Okay, okay, maybe we're... Chill. Chill. Oh, okay, don't chill. <laughs> oh, God. Hang on. Let me go up and repair this bad boy. Okay, so interestingly, it's saying that it's finding volcanic activity in this area. So I'm guessing kind of geothermal vents and stuff. Um, so I, I thought I'd park a little bit higher up and just sort of go in... Uh, Look at that electric thing. Oh my goodness. I don't think I've seen one of those before. Slightly terrified, I'll admit. So please be a hole, please be a hole, please be a hole, please be a hole. Get in the hole! Whoa. Okay, we're safe. Whoa. Okay, so... Integrating new PDA data. PDA 12. Uh, we'll go and listen to the submarine in just a second. Usually there is... Oh my goodness. Uh, usually there's something to find, isn't there? Common bulb bush? Oh, is there no, like, special thingy? Usually there is, isn't there? Hang on, where's my, uh, where's my torch? Let me grab my, uh, what don't we need? We don't need the blade. Um, nothing? I feel cheated. Normally there's, a, a like, a, a data box somewhere, isn't there? It's just metal salvage. There's definitely not one here. I'm not seeing one. Uh... Okay. Well, let's go and have a little listen. Let's go and see what this thing says. Okay, here we go. I'm uh, not really a doctor. I know that's what my ID says, but I never have been. Cheated the medical exams. What does a doctor these days need to know about manually resetting bones? When was the last time a top surgeon actually cut someone open? That's what the robots are for. Doctors these days read diagnoses off of computer readouts. For that, I'm perfectly qualified. But what good is it when I'm not connected to the main network? I'm bleeding. I've got glowing green pustules growing on my hands. I run a self-scan and it tells me I've got skin irritation. The only thing I studied in medical school was how to lie convincingly. What the hell do I know about how to treat an alien disease? Ah, okay, cool. So another reference once again to this uh, disease that seems to be kind of on this planet. And I'm guessing we have the disease as well, <laughs> to be honest. All right, um, interesting. So weirdly, no data box. I mean, part of me wants to go and ha have another look. Oh God, that thing is so cool. Uh, yeah, part of me wants to just have a little look around the bottom here just to see if I missed anything. Um, but yeah, I, I don't think there is a data box. If there is, it's really well hidden. Okay, so we're back home after just just a basic life pod visit, really. Um, no new blueprints or anything, Welcome but I got another radio message just as I was coming home. So we'll go again. Why not? This is life pod seven. Coordinates attached. Pod is structurally sound, but the fabricators bust. Requesting assistance. Seven out. Signal okay. coordinates corrupted. Ah. Approximate transmission origin recorded to data bank. Okay, so now we go again, but this time around, it's going to be a clue. Oh, what is that? Sunk 200 meters in an area of low ecological activity, approximately one kilometer southwest of the Aurora's stern section. Jeez. Um, so yeah, one thing that I haven't made yet, which I think we really need to now, is we need a compass. Um, because if I'm going to find this guy, 
I'm gonna need to know which way I'm going. So it's only copper wire and a wiring kit, so that's not too bad. Uh, do I have copper though? Hopefully. Okay, I have my compass, which is uh, a new little thing. Um, oh! Oh, it's a permanent thing? Ah, that's amazing! Why did we not do this sooner? <laughs> okay, it gives me like a little compass at the top. So, it says approximately one kilometer southwest of the Aurora's stern section. So the stern is the front and the bow is the back. So it's a kilometer straight, 200 meters deep stern. Oh, jeez. Okay, um, <laughs> we've got another water here. Uh, actually, you know what? I've changed my mind about the water machine. I actually quite like it. Um, it seems like every time you come back, there's a little water for you to drink. Uh, let me go and eat some potatoes. Okay, so I'm going to try and find this life pod. Um, I'm going to eat some potatoes first. Um, so yeah, I think I'm going to try. I'm going to go to the front of the ship. I'm going to point myself southwest, and I'm going to go a kilometer. And hopefully, we should be able to find it. Well, I was going to go to the front of the Aurora and then start going in one direction. And then I realized Southwest is actually pointing the opposite direction. So I'm behind the Aurora now. I don't know why I said stern. It probably should have just said the bow of it. It would have made life way more easy. But from looking at the picture, these look like spiky rocks, right? And I found an area which has spiky rocks. So I guess we'll just sort of go in a Southwest direction and just hope for the best, <laughs> I suppose. Um... I don't know where this is. I don't think we've been to this area before either. So the cool thing about these live pod missions is that it does actually show you new areas that you haven't necessarily been to before. So if it's 200 meters deep, it's going to be... It's going to be... Vi oh! Some very angry boys around here. Steady. Okay, we're good. Okay, good. I need to do another repair job. Um, so it should be... In theory somewhere around here. I don't think we've gone past it. Actually, this is already too deep. Huh. Have we gone past it? Hmm. I should probably repair, actually. Let me repair. Oh, we found it! Yes! <laughs> <laughs> okay, awesome, 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 awesome. Uh, yeah, I'm getting attacked like crazy here by these uh, absolute sausages. But we managed to find it. Oh, my goodness. We did a thing. Oh, we got a toy car. Is that a Tesla? No, I think it's like a Corvette or something, isn't it? Okay, well, another one for the collection. Uh, got the PDA. <gasps> it's Markiplier. Integrating new PDA data. What? <laughs> we actually found Markiplier. No way. <laughs> That's so cool. I was wondering if we'd find him. I saw Justin's thumbnail. Oops. Okay, ignore that. Hang on. I tried to take a screenshot. Yeah, I saw Justin's thumbnail of Markiplier, and I was like, what on earth is that? <laughs> okay, awesome. Um, so we found... Oh, a grey cap. We don't need that either. Uh, cylindrical flask. Uh, so we've got the PDA, and we found Markiplier. Awesome sawsons. Is there any... Let's see, no new... No, we don't need a microscope. There's no data. You know, like the like an unlock or something? We're going to have a look at Markiplier again with my torch. Hang on. There he is! <laughs> How random. I've tried everything. The analysis, analysis circuits on the fabricator are fried. You can barely manufacture the most basic of materials. Want a battery? Here, have a children's toy. Need deep sea diving equipment? Have some lab tech. Hungry? I'll turn that fruit into dust for you. I'm going forward with trial and error. I hit every button here. It's got to make something useful of it. Ah, okay. <laughs> okay. So random. <laughs> okay. Well, that's uh, a couple of life pods in today's episode. Uh, pretty cool. This guy just won't leave me alone. Get out of here. Da, da, da. All right. Let's get back home. Um. I'm going to have a little look at the prawn suit, see what kind of stuff to, in order to make that, because it's got the drilling arm, doesn't it? Which is would be really useful for um, a few other bits and pieces. As if we found Markiplier, that's so weird. <laughs> that's pretty cool, though. Like, I know Markiplier, he um, did, like, Subnautica quite a while ago, so it's, it's always cool when, like, developers put little Easter eggs and stuff. Uh, but yeah, two random life pod missions. Don't really give us any of the main storyline, but hey, you've got to do them, don't you? Because you never know what you're going to find. Um... 
Okay, so, uh, yeah, I just thought I'd come here quickly to my uh, vehicle bay and have a little look at this prawn suit, see what kind of stuff we need for it, because I'm wondering if there might be some... Oh, The Neptune escape rocket! What? Oh, we are nowhere near wanting to escape just yet. Hold your horses! <laughs> okay, so check this out. Um, so we need uh, steel ingots um aerogel now i've unlocked aerogel which is good enameled glass i think we might have that two diamonds and one lead so you know what that's actually not too many is it um enameled glass aerogel steel ingots i wonder i wonder aha so in order to make enameled glass we need stalker tooth a stalker tooth what is completely forgotten what a stalker actually is. Um, I might not have even had had it scanned. Um, hang on one sec, just bear with me. Talk amongst yourselves a second, I'm just going on the old Google. Subnautica stalker. Okay. Uh, oh, it's one of those dudes. Okay, that's not too bad. How do I get their tooth? Do I use my uh, do I use my thermo blade? Or do I use a gun? Um, oh, okay, so I thought maybe we had to, like, kill them to get the tooth, but apparently when they are eating their salvage, sometimes they drop their tooth, or, um, where's my, uh, oh, there it is. <laughs> apparently, though, we could also run into them with the, uh, Seamoth, who seems to be dancing for some reason. So we're on 55, which, a little bit concerning, but if we run into one with our... Let me try this out quickly. So I think what we'll try and do is, I don't think we've got time to do it today, but we'll maybe do the prawn suit next episode. I think for drilling, it'll be really, really good. Oh, that's such a... Why is there a reef back, like, so close? Oh, cool. I've never seen one so close to home before. Now I can't find any of these stalkers. There's normally loads of them. Apparently as well, you can find them when they're eating the salvage. Sometimes a tooth drops out. Okay, let's give this a go. Um, So there's a stalker here, and... Ugh! Okay, this one. Did it drop anything? It's dropped its metal salvage. Where'd it go? There. Two. And let me hit it again. Let me hit it again. Hey, come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Hey. It's going to be the slip. Okay, there's another one. Boom. Okay, I've got to be really careful with my, um, my Seamoth here so I don't damage it too much, but... Oh, I think I found one. Yeah. <laughs> so whatever I was doing, it seemed to work because da da da, I got a stalker tooth. Yeah, I think I need two, don't I? All right, well at least I know how to do it now. You just sort of hang about the metal and give them a little boop occasionally, and every now and again they drop a uh, a tooth. Is that another tooth? No. Okay, cool. Uh, well, I think, unfortunately, ladies and gentlemen, that's probably going to be about it for this episode of Subnautica, but we'll be back very, very soon uh, to continue on here. I think we're going to do the prawn suit, hit the radio. You never know what's going to happen in this game. That's kind of the fun of it. Um, so, yeah, thank you very much for watching. I really hope you guys enjoyed this one. If you did, then please remember to poke me in that like button. And if you are not yet subscribed, go for it, because we do Subnautica done fun. But until next time, thank you once again for watching. It's been such a pleasure. As always, thanks. Rattigal!